So your office objected to us getting um, Delta records for flights that you may have taken when no, Mr. Wade. And, well, no, 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 look. I object to you getting records. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. Bonnie Willis went in on the attorneys accusing her of having an improper relationship with the special prosecutor. The Fulton County District Attorney had no issue making Donald Trump and his lawyers look foolish. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Well, no, I'm not talking about, I'm saying romantic relationship doesn't necessarily have to be just sex. Well, it can I be don't... dating, it can be holding hands, it can be any of those things that one might call romantic. There were plenty of cringy moments in Thursday's hearing where Donald Trump's attorneys questioned Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis about a romantic relationship that she once had with Nathan Wade, the lead prosecutor she hired to charge Trump and co with trying to interfere with the Georgia election. The day really got started when Willis insisted that she be allowed to testify over her own attorney's objection. We need her in here to go over all of this and to explain exactly what happened. So we was asked the court uh, that, the, that, the, that the, the court allow Ms. Willis to be called and interrogated uh, on these matters. And I would too, Your Honor. When Willis took the stand, the show really began. I need three documents in front of me, and they're the three filings of Ms. Merchant. Three filings? The DA took the reins, trampling over Trump's attorneys and their claims that she engaged in misconduct with her colleague. Um, all right, so that was it, just the argument, no testimony. All right, I listened to the argument this morning where Adam Abadi, I thought, did an excellent job pointing out how dishonest you were with the court on Monday. And um, I'm actually surprised that the hearing continued, but since it did, here I am. Willis shot down questions of impropriety by reimbursing Wade's expenses contract is cash. I didn't give him money in a contract, so that was cute, but I didn't give him money out uh, in a contract. What happened is, no, we're going to answer it since you said it. He worked. He worked more hours than he was paid, and the county paid him for the work that he did. So don't be cute with me and then think that you're not going to get an answer. The ridiculous questions just kept coming. Cash hoard that you had collected over time. Cash what? Hoard, H-O-R-D-E. Well, I thought you said something different, sir. No, I'm afraid I wouldn't say that. Uh -oh. Any circumstances to you or in court. All right, back on track. The hoard, cash hoard debt. But Willis didn't back down, breaking down why there were financial transactions between her and Wade. Mr. Let's go on and have the conversation. I'm just asking you whether or not it was a coincidence. It had absolutely nothing to do with this. It's interesting that we're here about this money. Mr. Wade is used to women that, uh, as he told me one time, the only thing a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich. We would have brutal arguments about the fact that I am your equal. I don't need anything from a man. A man is not a plan. A man is a companion. And so there was tension always in our relationship, which is why I was give him his money back. I don't need anybody to foot my bills. The only man who's ever foot my bills completely is my daddy. Willis let us know she did not come to play. When the state was well, it's highly offensive lives. when someone lies on you, and it's highly offensive when they it's try touch. to implicate that you slept with somebody the first day you met with them, and I take exception to it. The DA also made clear that she would not be yelled at. Did any of your children stay at your house? And you don't have to yell at me. I'm able to understand. I, so I would ask you to not yell at me. While on the stand, Willis even made time to debunk some of Trump's conspiracy theories, like the claim that Willis is just a prosecutorial puppet for the president. When you went to D.C., did you go to the White House? Okay. I did not go to the White House. No, well, apparently I'm going to get the answer anyhow. There you have it. Next question. Okay. No matter which way they came at her, Fonnie Willis was unwilling to back away from the truth. Um, isn't it true that you met Mr. Wade October 2019 well, at the judges' think, conference? We haven't gotten to the point where Ms. Willis should be treated hostile. I think we okay. have. I very Mr. much Willis. want to be here, so I'm not a hostile witness. I very much want to be not here. Not so much that you're hostile, Ms. Willis. It'd be an adverse witness. Your interests are opposed to Ms. Merchant's. Thank Ms. You. Merchant's interests are contrary to democracy, Your Honor, not to mine. 
If the court determines that Willis has a conflict of interest because of her romantic relationship with Wade and that it's worth disqualifying her entire office from the case, what will happen is that another Georgia prosecutor's office will be reassigned the matter, and they may not be as voracious as Willis has been in terms of seeking justice. So how do you think this is going to shake out? You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit those like and follow buttons, and thanks for watching.